So the big question is, are there early warning signs of cancer? In reality, most cancer has no symptoms initially until the later stages. And that is the problem with trying to identify cancer because a lot of the symptoms from cancer could be from a lot of other things, like fatigue, for example, insomnia. Those are two symptoms. So they could be caused by so many other things. Now, there are some symptoms that could be cancer if they're on a chronic nature and they just don't go away. And that would be a chronic sore throat, um, unhealing sores on your body. Uh, but again, these things could be many other uh, issues as well. Blood in the stool, blood in the urine, blood through your nose. But if you have blood coming from the stool, that could be a hemorrhoid. If you have blood in the urine, it could be a kidney stone. If you have a bloody nose, that could be just a sinus issue. Let's say your sinuses are dry. Um, so there's other causes as well. A persistent fever that just doesn't go away means that your immune system is trying to fight thinning off. Um, swollen glands, okay? So if your glands just don't resolve over a reasonable period of time, uh, that potentially could be one symptom of cancer. But again, most of the time, there's no symptoms for cancer. Now, the main thing is you don't want to live in fear. You don't want to worry about, do I have cancer? Do I not have cancer? What you want to do is you want to actively and aggressively avoid cancer. You want to prevent cancer by living healthily. There's a couple things you need to know about cancer. Number one, cancer lives on sugar. It can also live on two different amino acids, okay? Those are building blocks to protein, glutamine and glycine, okay? Now, here's the problem. These two amino acids are in pretty much every single food that you eat. So realize this. It's not those amino acids that cause cancer. And so if you are healthy, you don't want to avoid those amino acids in your food. The point I'm trying to make is that once you have cancer, then you want to avoid those two amino acids. Now, how do you do that? One way is intermittent fasting. That way you're cutting down the frequency of consuming those amino acids and that will help. And also fasting in general is very good for uh, preventing cancer. There's a lot of reasons for that. I, I'm gonna put a link down below uh, for more data on that specific point. If you're healthy, you don't have to avoid these amino acids, just avoid the sugar. So if you have cancer, okay, what you could do is you could take all the essential amino acids and just avoid these two because these two are non-essential. You don't need them. In America, cancer is the second leading cause of death. So there are several preventative things that you can do to avoid cancer. Number one, get on a ketogenic diet, reduce your carbs, avoid sugar. Right there, you're gonna starve cancer. You, uh, tumors, for example, cannot live on ketones. So going on a ketogenic diet is gonna be a very, very smart thing. Uh, secondly, you wanna avoid carcinogens, things that cause cancer. That would be GMO foods. That would be radiation. Uh, that would be excessive uh, diagnostic testing like CAT scans, for example, or x-rays the chemicals in the food, start eating organic. There are so many things in our environment that are carcinogens that you really need just to do two things. One, one is minimize damage control, start eating organic. And number two, consume foods that are anti-cancer, that actually dismantle through our enzymes, through our liver, they're called phase one, phase two enzymes that help to turn these poisons into harmless particles. So if you consume a lot of these foods, which I recommend in my eating plan, it's a healthy keto plan, okay? And you do intermittent fasting, you're gonna be in pretty good shape to minimize your potential risk of getting cancer. So the main point of this video is not to live in fear because I believe that is even a trigger for getting cancer, uh, but to actively just live a healthy lifestyle to avoid cancer as long as possible. All right, guys, thanks for watching.